We've seen extraordinary change in the last generation. We've seen an exodus from court litigation. And we've also seen a transformation of court litigation. Court litigation is judicial law giving. One of the main functions of courts is to give law, common law. We live our lives by the common law. And it's a public function, and it's under the rule of law, and there is appellate review. And that's our model. But we've seen an erosion of that because so many cases are now going to what has always been called alternative dispute resolution, particularly arbitration. In the last generation, the Supreme Court has fallen in love with arbitration. It applies what it sees as the policy goals of the Federal Arbitration Act, even at the expense of some state laws. A lot of people have criticized arbitration because it does impoverish this public law-giving function of courts. Arbitrations have no juries. Arbitrations are not done in public. Arbitrations do not result in reasoned opinions that are published, and there is no appellate review. There's no rule of law. So a lot of people have said that arbitration is a problem. On the other hand, that argument would be much stronger if what we were leaving behind, court litigation, really did look like what it used to look like when we had a jury trial, when we had all these protections. And now, civil litigation over the last generation has become settlement. That's really what it's all about. Very few cases go to trial. Most appellate decisions today are non-precedential. They're not published and they're subject to a no citation rule. So the courts are not doing exactly what they were supposed to do under our model. So one question that comes up, of course, is, well, if arbitration is there, is it just as good? Is it as good as the civil litigation system? Maybe even better because it's cheaper. Well, it's hard to say in the abstract whether arbitration is cheaper than litigation, although I can say this. Arbitration will always be cheaper if it does not happen. And that's what we see. In cases like Concepcion, we have arbitration clauses which have become ubiquitous. It used to be that they were only for contracts between commercial entities of equal bargaining power. Now they're imposed on consumers and on employees of unequal bargaining power with the, with the uh, stronger party. So we have this, and the question is, all right, that may be okay in itself, but on top of that, in these contracts we have class action waivers so that no one can bring a class arbitration. And this means, certainly in the consumer class action area, we're simply not going to have cases at all. Because if we have people with $30 claims, they're not going to be able to bring them aggregate-wise because there's a class action waiver. And they certainly are not going to bring it for $30 because no one but a zealot or an imbecile sues for $30, as Judge Posner has said. So by combining those, what we see now is there are a whole lot of claims that simply never get asserted. So it's not really a matter of is arbitration cheaper. Maybe arbitration's never going to happen.